Hey guys, welcome to my RE5 Smith & Wesson run, where, when possible, uh, Chris and Sheva will be using only Smith & Wesson revolvers. I think there might be at least one boss battle where uh, I have to use a different weapon to actually defeat the boss, but uh, I'll uh, cross that bridge when I get to it. Remember kids, there's a reason why they sell bottled water. Sometimes you just can't trust the local water. Captain Deshant here. We secured the underground route to the coordinates. Should have seen it coming. It didn't take long after the fall of the Umbrella Corporation for their bioweapons to end up in the hands of terrorists. A new era of bioterrorism descended upon vulnerable countries, shifting the balance of power throughout the region. People in the destabilized areas soon feared another incident like Raccoon City was inevitable. As panic spread, governments of the world turned to the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium which formed the anti-terrorism unit, BSAA. Yeah, and they put the BS in BSAA. ...to neutralize bioterrorist hotspots, restoring safety and stability to various regions around the globe. Hey there, sweet cheeks. <laughs> Welcome to Africa. Oh, glad to be here. My name is Sheva Alamoth. Chris Redfield. Your reputation precedes you, Mr. Redfield. Yeah, with his reputation Honor. being that he Just likes Chris, to do roids. So you'll be Look at that. He was never this yeah. big. Damn. Are running high Built like a brick outhouse. I'll bet. Intel says it's a haven for terrorists now. And I'm not going to be happy to see an American. Yeah, especially an American that does roids. That's why I'm your partner. Help put them at ease. Well, I'm sure you'll do just fine. okay hmm what oh yeah I, sorry I was just wondering who had the bigger boobs you or my old partner <laughs> seems to be a tie at this point casualties continue to mount over the long years I've struggled more and more I find myself wondering yeah more and more he found himself doing roids maybe one day I'll find out hey hey who you intending Alafanya nini hafa you don't have to get touchy. You know, I don't think that guy speaks English. Let's go. Chris is like, ooh, my turn. Wanna touch my booty? No? I have a job uh, all right. To do, and I'm gonna see it through. This is Kirk. Chris, Sheva, can you read me? Chris here. Coming in loud and clear, Kirk. Yes, we read you. There's a black market weapons deal going down here. Hey, what's going on over there? That's where Earth ah, will be. Probably just some local custom. Probably nothing to worry about. And you will be going in as backup. Rendezvous with your contact at the butcher's shop. You can gear up and get briefed on the mission there. These guys might be from the local Watch tourism board, that's all. Roger that. Copy. Over and out. Is that the Silent Hill siren going on? Translation, you're listening to 109 Smooth Jazz. Uh, 
Excuse me, sir. I'm here to see your meat. Sheva Alomar. Go around to the side door. Sheva, this way. Good. You're both here. Come. You too. He's the butcher. Man, look at the horrible sanitation. He's probably giving everybody food poisoning. You should do what you came here to do and go home. Yeah, they really roll out the red carpet for us Americans. Who would want to shop here? I have your weapons for you here. Jack them. Okay, Chris has his uh, Model 29 there, 8 and 3 8 inch barrel. He must be a Hickok 45 fan. And I'll, I'll be rocking the 500. This cutscene makes no sense. Uh, I mean, this is a Resident Evil 5. By now, Chris should know you need more than just like a little Beretta to fight, you know... Biologically engineered monsters. I mean, supposedly they're backed up by big money, the BSAA, and really? <laughs> I mean, I'm, of course, I'm doing a new game plus, or, you know, a bonus run, so I've got the nice handguns, but when you first start off from a totally new game, yeah, you just have the little Berettas. Why would you send your agents in with just, <laughs> with just those little handguns? be as big as you, but I can still hold my own. Well, now you know how the local butcher saves on food costs. This guy's got weed and money. We basically just robbed this guy's house. Oh look, more weed. Oh uh, yeah, it's time to mix me up a blunt. Come on. Okay. Alright Bobby, you know the rules. You want dessert, first you gotta eat your meat. I don't think he speaks English, Chris. Okay, seriously, Chris is acting like he's never seen anything like this ever. Sheva, I can understand. She might be the newbie, but surely Chris has seen this before. 
Get you some 500. <laughs> Check out this old TV here. Oopsie. So we killed somebody and vandalized his home. Let's get out of here before. Yeah, let's 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 get out of here. That's that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, here comes the neighborhood watch. All right, come get some. Oop, yeah, it's... I'm not a very skilled gamer. <laughs> Oopsie. We're not repositioning anything. I may be a bad gamer, but I got the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Oops. <laughs> A oh, poor marksman as well. No, the laser thingy isn't as easy as it looks. Because the laser doesn't always uh, reflect reliably. It only reflect it only gives you the dot on valid surfaces. That's not an excuse for my poor marksmanship, but I'm just saying. It'd be nice if the dot always reflected. It'll be a lot easier to gauge where you need to put it. That's one brave dude. Look at that guy. He's <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go over here. Chris is beasting over there. No, oh, no, you don't. Now oh, he clearly lit it, but <laughs> it doesn't go boom. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, the locals were hostile, and we had to use local genocide. Roger on the locals, but your orders still stand. What does that mean? Was HQ expecting this? What does it mean? It means HQ doesn't care about your people, Sheva. Okay, when your local butcher is outfitted like this, that's when you know your country has got a really big game. Here we go, collect more weed. If there's one thing I learned from this game, Africa has a lot of weed. Much appreciated. <laughs> Angry customers. Uh, let me translate for you. 
This guy sold me spare ribs, and then I got dysentery. You don't know what you're talking about. You can all go to hell. Yeah, they probably don't speak English. Chris is like, we don't get paid enough to help that guy. You bad butcher, you. I got your choice cut right here. And the crowd goes wild. He must know everyone in this village. I mean, he automatically knew those two don't belong here. And they're not tourists. And here we go, the first big significant fight. Check this out. Usually people do YouTube videos where they use the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum to shoot produce. I'm doing the same thing, but inside a video game. <laughs> oh yeah, more produce. Okay, I should probably stop screwing around. And they're already in the doorway. That's what happens when you screw around. They really did a good job modeling that uh, that Model 29. And they did a good job on the 500 Magnum as well. For those of you who don't know, the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum in this game is actually modeled after the Smith & Wesson Performance Center model. The, uh, the I believe it has a 10 and a half inch barrel. So yeah, man, that is a real life gun. Chris is just going all dirty hairy. The gate is sealed and we're trapped. We need backup and we need it right now. Now your AI partner is very good in this game. Chris rarely misses. Harry Callahan would be proud. All right, who did that? Hey, Kool-Aid! Yeah, Kool-Aid man can't last long against the 500. Take his ring. All right, time to shut up little Miss Megaphone up here. Oh, <laughs> he, he brought a megaphone to a gunfight. Look at that beautiful marksmanship, huh? Another good shot. Big gun kick the hell out of you.
Ah. Uh, I thought that would zap him. That's a bad shot. See, look at that. Chris is on, Chris is on beast mode. My ladder. There's just no end to them. That's okay. <laughs> There's no end to my bullets. So yes, both guns, as you can see, have infinite ammo on. And no, I didn't cheat to get them. I I did my work grinding it out to get these two bonus guns all fully upgraded and with infinite ammo. He went through a lot of effort just to die. <laughs> he just ran into the fire. Another good long distance shot. Damn, we got Chris doesn't care about that crossfire now, does he? Get out of the way, Chris. Chris, Sheva, how you holding up? I'll be there shortly. Just hang in there. Admittedly, the the first time I went through the game, you know, just with the starting weapons, this 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 was quite the harrowing fight. You do a lot. Well, at least I did. I did a lot of running around. And yeah, this fight doesn't end just because you put down the big guy. This little village has a lot of people. And then the cutscene takes over. Okay, conspiracy theory time. Is that Hunk? That looks like Hunk. <laughs> 